Folks, I've been telling you all offseason, not only will the Patriots not compete against the Bills for the AFC East title, they are not going to sniff the playoffs. And I've had plenty of people look at me, you know, I mean, I, there's people who get it, right? There's people who understand it. I think Bills fans have gotten easier. It's easier to convince Bills fans of that, right? But outside of Buffalo, people are finally coming around to it a little bit. I just don't see at all right now the talent New England possesses in order for them to compete in this current AFC. And it's continuing to get worse. The departure of Josh McDaniels seems to be having an absolute brutal ripple effect through the New England organization, especially, of course, on offense right now. There, that nobody knows who any what any coordinator is doing, if they're even a coordinator at all, in New England. And the continuous press coming out of New England camp is how bad the offense in Mac Jones is looking. I'm going to share a couple of pieces with you here. There's two. One just came out about 20 minutes before I came on air here. I was going to share the first one anyways, and then another one came out here. Over here on OutKick is what I got up here. They have the summary of it, but the tweet that I'm going to be pertaining to is right here uh, from Mike Girardi, and this kind of made waves. And it's just something that shocked me zero. It shocked me absolutely zero. Um, and I think that it was inevitable. There is hardly any talent in New England right now to shake a stick at whatsoever that's worth a, a damn, honestly. When you look around the, the, the landscape of the AFC, where does the roster New England have stack up? It just doesn't. And then you look at the quarterback position, People want to try and, and, and justify Mac Jones being the predecessor to Brady, the, or the replacement to Brady, but I just don't see it. Now, granted, we're early here, but in his second year now, we are hearing from longtime Boston beat reporters that he looks worse than he did coming into his rookie year. Mike Girardi shares on Twitter that Mac Jones had some moments of uncertainty a year ago in training camp, but not nearly as many as you would expect for a rookie. This summer, far more. Yes, it is early August. There's time. However, the install started back in the spring, and you'd like more comfort and success. So what he's telling you right there is you expect uncertainty and inexperience in your rookie year, but Mac Jones seemed to have more than usual last year. This year, it's even worse. That was the story out a few days ago. Tom Curran, a very, very long-time Boston reporter, tweeted this out just a little bit before I came on air with you guys tonight. Tom Curran says, Patriots' number one offense today has been distressingly bad. You know, I don't think I've ever heard anybody even use that phrase before. Distressingly bad. Run stuffs, aborted plays, would-be sacks. Man, you know it's bad when he's using distress twice. I don't think I've ever used distress in the same paragraph twice in my life distress lobs into traffic just to get the ball out beginning to feel it's less the new offense and more the post scar cycle of o-line coaches they are perpetually overwhelmed folks just be once again not to beat a dead horse but i mean you need another example as to how lucky the bills are right now in the state of the afc to be in the afc east i mean there's just another example I mean, the way that the AFC is loaded right now, the AFC East is falling apart. And people want to keep telling me that Miami isn't, and I agree. I mean, Miami has definitely gotten a lot better. On paper, Miami has a hell of a roster, but if we're talking strictly the quarterback position, I mean, good God. Good God. Is there a bigger discrepancy at the, at the quarterback position as far as division's concerned in all of football? It's not even remotely close. It's not even on the same stratosphere. And in particular here, as you can see, out of New England, the gap is widening. It is absolutely absurd. And so that's just, that just leads me to double down on what I already have felt. I am doubling down on the Bills going 6-0 and in the AFC East. I am doubling down on the New England Patriots not even coming close to getting a playoff spot this coming season. I just don't see how it could be even remotely possible.
I just do not see it. And and based on what the Bills were able to put against them the last time we saw them play, I mean, you got to remember, when, when New England topped Buffalo, that was in an unprecedented situation. That was in a weather circumstance that we've rarely ever seen before. And the Bills offense might as well have stayed on the bus that day, and they still were in the game the entire time. When they got them on even ground, it was like watching an NFL team play a Pop Warner team. And now we're hearing that that team has gotten even worse compared to that point last season. Look out.